going to sleep. My little buddy here is all sacked out. He was ready for bed. He was ready for bed a long time ago. But, uh, yeah. I have to get him in his sleeping bag. This is his sleeping bag. It's really just... Excuse me here, buddy. It's really just an old fleece sleeping bag. You can see I had a had nylon straps on it. And I just cut it in half. Made sure the zipper was down on the one side, of course. And then I just kind of folded it over and sewed it back on itself. It's been working very well. Um, and you might say, well, how do you how do you get a dog to use a sleeping bag? Well, one way is I just use it as a blanket like this. He doesn't seem to mind very much. However, I decide to use it. But I'll, I'll demonstrate here. Shio, Shio, hop, come on, come here, come here, hop, okay, stay. And I simply just lay the sleeping bag out for him. No, stay. Open it up. Okay, come. Lead him to it. Say, down. And it usually goes straight down. And then it's just a matter of pulling it up over him. Now, on a night like this, it's pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, it's not really cold or anything. So, like... I'm probably just going to leave it unzipped. That way, if he wants to crawl out of it, he can with no problem. He can get out of it, you know, the other way. It's just usually you'll drag it across the campsite before he gets rid of it. But this way here, he can just climb right out of it pretty easy. Um, he'll stay like this most of the night, unless something disturbs him. He, he does not mind using this. Matter of fact, it seems like he actually likes it because uh, he doesn't have to worry about freezing his butt off. Yeah, he's a good dog. He's worth every every bit of it that I put into him as far as uh, carrying a little extra weight. He's well worth it. Well, it took a little work, but I'm in bed. In my little hammock. Hammock world here. It's usually very, very comfortable. A great place to sleep. But you're a bit exposed. You're out in the open. You never know what's going to walk by. Actually, it was one night. It wasn't too far away from here where I was sound asleep. But it was a, a, one of those very full moon nights where you could see almost as clear as day. And I remember I was laying kind of on my side. And one thing that I remember noticing too is that I, there was a weird smell, a real weird musky smell. I opened my eyes and all I could see was brown. As like I kept thinking to myself, I wasn't that close to the trees. You know, I didn't have a tree, like, right, right here next to me. And I just laid there real still. And I hear, and I realize, oh my God, this deer is standing about two inches away from my nose. <laughs> it's, like, really incredible. But like I said, you're, you're a little exposed, so you never know what you're really going to be up against. But, um... I don't know, I, I always liked hammocks, but uh, you, you do have to, they do have their advantages and disadvantages, there's nothing you can do about that, but tonight I'm just going to feel the advantages, I have my trusty dog almost right underneath.